before I get, before I get into basketball stuff here, um, I think uh, all of us uh, that were here um, uh, and live in this state and work in this state, um, I think all of us were probably impacted the same way I was, our coaching staff was, and our team was by uh, the tragedy in Westerville uh, with the two police officers. And, um, you know, that uh, is such a difficult thing, and I hope that um, that community has time to heal. Those uh, families uh, have time to heal. Um, and I hope they know our thoughts and prayers are with them. Um, a lot more important things than, than uh, a game here tonight. So uh, that one certainly hits close to home for all of us, uh, particularly um, because of where we're located, and we have a couple young men from that area. So uh, just want everybody to know whether our, our want them to know, that community to know that our thoughts and prayers are with, with them tonight, uh, with Anthony and Eric's family. So, uh, as far as the game um, is concerned, you know, I think we were, we were uh, aware that uh, Iowa uh, could uh, really score the ball, and they did that in the first half. Um, they have a lot of stuff you have to guard, and I did not think we were as good as we needed to be defensively in the first half, but our guys responded. I thought we were good offensively for the whole game, moved the ball, shared it, uh, made the right pass at the right time, um, had a few, many too, few too many turnovers, but uh, I thought offensively we were really good. I thought we were much better uh, defensively in the second half than what we were in the first half. So give our guys a lot of credit for responding from an emotional game the other night. And, uh, Proud of them. Uh, I think Iowa uh, has a real chance to finish strong. Uh, got a lot of respect for how um, how they continue, how how they tax you with how hard they play. Um, so we have a couple days off to rest here, and we need it.